provider and state provider from Riverput state management package. Now, this could be very confusing for beginners. Now, what is provider in Riverpod? In Riverpod, if you want to create a state, you have to create using provider. Now, what is creating a state? Actually, that means creating some variable and hold them so that as you know that, as you change them and it reflects in your UI. So that's called creating the states. Now, you create those states using provider. And then we call them, hey, I have created a provider. All right, so the basic format of provider looks like this, actually. So here you tag it as a provider and you mention the type. Now the type should be actually return type. Now here we are returning Boolean, okay, so true or false. So now of course that should be a variable over here we'll, which will change very soon and we'll see. Now provider itself, uh, once you create, you can just read them from outside but you can't change them from outside. In the provider itself inside you can change and we'll see how we change that now with state provider which is almost like provider but gives you more freedom and uh, ability to change for example uh, you would create actually the same way you create provider you'll create the state provider the same way you create provider and with the state provider the good thing is that you can change the state from outside of this state provider. And what I mean by that, we'll see very soon. But anyway, first time when you create them, they actually look the same. Now, as you see over here, provider has a type we are passing to it, which is bool, which means that, hey, return me bool type value. Now, with the state provider, you can do the same, but in this case, we are saying, hey, return me something string type, which means that our state in this case, state provider should hold our state or data that is string type and return me that data. Of course, uh, when I say holding state, actually it means holding data. Now, take a greater look how to use them. Uh, now here we see that we have empty string. Actually, we wanna put something in this string, which means that we wanna change this empty string, string to something different. Now, how to do that? Now, to be able to do that, let's come down over here inside our selected button. And we see that over here we are extending consumer widget because we want our class to be stateful, but in a sense that it has to be stateful from river pod, river pod perspective. In general, you'd here make it like a stateful class, but since we are using river pod, so we are going to go ahead using consumer widget. Now, if you do that, here you will have consumer here you will have widget ref and ref object which is more like pretty much like context but it's solely based on river pod now inside this actually we'll have children like this and uh, we'll have two elevated button now if you notice carefully you will see that over here we created a state or we created actually a provider using state provider which returns us empty string and that string is a reactive or that provider is reactive and we save it in a variable called selected button. Now we are trying to access that one selected button as you can see over here. Now in Riverpod if you want to access a state and you want to change access a state means the data. So in that case for that state first you have to get the notifier object and from then again you have to get state variable or state object. And after that, you may assign value to it. So here, on this button press, we are going to assign red. And over here, for the same state, which is the provider over here, the same provider or the state, will first get the notifier object, and then we'll get the state object, and we'll assign it to value, assign it to blue. So we'll have two different buttons. So let's go ahead and save them. Now here we want to click and we want to be able to know that actually we our state has been changed. What I mean by that because first we know that our state over here pretty much the value is empty. It's nothing. So as we click on that, as we click on that, we want to change the state. Now let's go ahead and click. Now we do click and we don't see any changes, visual changes. So how to do that? Now we know that if we assign the value, click on this, actually the value would change. 
and we can grab it actually over here. Now, as I said earlier, provider itself doesn't let you to change this provider from outside. But because we are using this ref object, so we can access the other providers inside this provider. So whenever you have this ref object, you can access other provider. Now, because this could be a function, so here, over here, actually, what we could do, well, this is a function actually. Now here we can return some. Now, if you see carefully over here, we are accessing another provider, which is selected button provider. This is our provider, as I said early. If you have ref object, you can access other provider, which we did. And after that, we are trying to watch. We are trying to read this provider because this provider is being changed as we click on this buttons over here. So yes, we go ahead and take the provider the value and then we check if the value is red then we will return true and that's why actually we have boolean over here so by saying that it means that inside the provider actually you can do any kind of calculation any kind of checkings and based on that you return something of course your return type has to met the type over here the, you have to meet the type over here now this changes how do we reflect in our ui now, to be able to find the changes in our UI, over here, inside this, actually, first we can read the provider. Which provider? This one. Because, remember, this provider gives you true or false based on the button click. As you click on this button, the states change from here, and we can read it here. Now, this is red is going to give me true or false. So we can read it using this ref.watch function, okay? So once again, if you have ref, then you can access to many things and do many other things and all because of Riverpod. So we have an access, we have access to this object over here. Now inside this children list, right after this button over here, actually we can do a conditional check. If it is red, then we'll say, hey, the color is red. Otherwise we'll say it's blue, okay? Now let's go ahead and restart our app. All right. Well, now, first time the color is blue. Why? Let us take a look. Now, you see that at the top we have state provider over here, another provider, but it's empty. So first time when provider reads it, it returns actually an empty thing, which also means that this value is false. Now, if it is false over here, of course, we fall back to this statement or syntax. So that's why we see blue. Now, if I click on this, we see that it becomes red because what happens when you click on this button, so this value red is assigned to this state provider over here or this provider. And it happens through using dot notifier dot state. And then we read it again. Well, this time, yes, it is red. So we return red. Now let's check it here one more time. So let's click on this blue button. Now here we see blue, all right. Now the state changes immediately and we can do more interesting thing. Actually, whether the text assigned red or blue, actually we can also read that. Now to be able to read that, we have to access to this object over here or this provider. And how to do that? Earlier we said that because we have this ref object over here, so because of this, we could do ref.watch and inside watch, you can read anything, any kind of provider. So now we have this selected button. Now, actually, this would return us a string because here we are assigning string to this provider, right? Now, because of this one here, we can simply do like this. So let's go ahead and select it, save it. And we see that here it said blue. We click on this blue. Red, we see red, we click on blue, we see blue and blue. Red, red and red, beautiful. So that's how it works. Now earlier I said one thing that provider, you cannot change it from outside. And I said that state provider, you can change it from outside. So here state provider is being changed using the value. Now the similar approach if we use for this one, actually it's not going to work. So how to prove that? Let's go ahead and copy that and put it over here. And here we'll see immediately that yes, we have an error. So if you just have provider, you cannot change that provider from outside. 
but provider itself inside you could do many things and change the state hopefully it makes sense thank you so much